Hey everyone, it's Onyx Code here, and today we're going to be having a look at the new forum I just created called uh, pptos.ga or the PowerPoint OS forums. Now, you might recognize this domain. Elias used to own it back in 2017 slash 2018 slash 2019, and it was a really cool forum, and it had a lot of activity. I think it had nearly 500 members when it got shut down. The hosting provider that he was using was apparently a free hosting provider, and they went over, he went over, well, the site actually went over the limits because it was so popular. So, the forum ceased to exist. Uh, until about, what was that, October of 2020, uh, I decided to start working on it because the domain at this point had been let go. So I grabbed the domain again, and welcome to the new PowerPoint OS forums. We are running the latest version of Flareum, and in this video, we're going to be showcasing some features about this forum. Okay, so first off, obviously you notice the start a discussion button. Here you can choose your tags for your post. You got your main tags here, such as PowerPoint OS, Visual Basic OS, and Help. And then you have your secondary tags here, like Download Available, Showcase, YouTube Video, or Beta Tests Requested. So let's just go for a PowerPoint OS tag, and we'll add a Download Available. So now we'll just type something like Testing OS. Uh, this is a test thread. And if you've ever uh, used Markdown, this is pretty much Markdown syntax. You can also add BB code, uh, and that's what we'll be showcasing today, just part of it here. The capabilities of Markdown and BB code on PowerPoint OS forums. Thank you, Google Translate. I appreciate that. Okay, so most of the stuff you can just do here by yourself. So let's just say uh, header text. And then you can add smaller ones like more header text. So these progressively get smaller. As you can see, it adds different characters. And you can also go full screen on your editor if you don't want to be distracted by the other threads. And so that's headers. And now let's move on to uh, text formatting. So you have bold text and italic text, which you can also do by just having Control B and Control I. If you want bold italic text, you just do Control B and Control I or underscore, asterisk, asterisk, and then you put your text in here, bold, italicized text, and then asterisk, asterisk, underscore. So you can also insert a quote here, and it'll just put it in like a block format. So for example, this is a quote block. And then uh, to stop it from creating a new block, once you hit enter, you just hit the backspace button twice, or three times. So the next part we're going to talk about is code, and obviously you can insert code between here. It's just, this is a code block, a code inline block. And this will basically make your text in between these two ticks here. Uh, back ticks as they're referred to. It'll give them a console-y feel, and it will make them look better for code, so that way you don't have any fonts getting in the way of actually seeing what you're looking at. Next, we're going to have a look at links. Um, this isn't necessarily required if you're just straight linking. For example, look, HTTPS Google.com. However, if you want to say, put your text here and have it as a hyperlink, for example, this is a hyperlink to google.com. 
and then you can put the text there. And so when that comes out, it'll just say, this is a hyperlink to google.com, and you click on it, and it takes you to google.com. Next up, we have images. Images are basically like hyperlinks, except you put a exclamation mark before it to signify that it's an image. And then this acts as alt text or captions. For example, this is a caption. Now let's just go and search for Kirby. Just grab an image of Kirby. What is that? Okay, looks like we're using this one. So then you want to hit copy image address. And then we just replace this with that. I am going to be very confused when that shows up in the thread. So next you have a bulleted list. Uh, and this is for something, just a, basically an unordered list. So for example, um, things to add. And then feature, feature one, feature two, feature three, and then once again, to leave this mode, just hit the backspace two or three times. <clears throat> Next up, we have numbered lists. So for example, one, uh, Legos, two, uh, Play-Doh, and I can't spell Play-Doh. And three, uh, toy cars. That will be an ordered list. Alright, and last but not least, you can insert emoji by clicking here, and you can type here to search for an emote. For example, I'm just going to type joy, joyful, and then it puts an emote. You can also do this in a similar way to Discord, where you just put the the little colon here, and then you can start searching for stuff like smile or glad. Okay, last but not least, you can mention users, and I'm going to mention my friend Project PowerPoint. Project PowerPoint, hey, I'm mentioning you. Okay, so that's a basic rundown of the, the thread capabilities and formatting. So if you post this discussion, this is what it looks like. So this is what I was talking about. Oh gosh. Why did I choose that as the image? Okay. <laughs> gosh. This is so weird. Alright, so also because I created this thread, it automatically has us following it. Okay, now that we've had a look at the thread, let's take a look at some of the smaller things. If you hit more on this tags part on the homepage, it takes you to pptos.ga slash tags. And here it shows you the latest post in each tag. Okay, and you can also search the forums. If I wanted to search for Ionics, there it is, Ionics OS Beta 1. So now let's have a look at the user profile. On the user profile, you can set your bio here. Also, to create a new line on your bio, hit shift enter instead of enter, because if you press enter, it just saves. So now I'm just gonna put something like subscribe, or I will take all your cookies. Okay, so now you can see this, this horrible thread. Anyway, I'm gonna delete this thread. So how do you delete a thread? Okay, so first off, obviously you can only delete threads you've created. Then, to delete a thread, under reply, hit the arrow and click delete. So now the thread is gone. It will be deleted automatically after 30 days. It is now hidden from view, by the way. So, um, this means it's locked and no one can reply to it. However, the people who have replied to it can still see it. It will automatically be deleted after 30 days. If you really want it to be deleted instantly, contact a mod or admin and we will be able to delete it forever immediately. 
Next, let's talk about something back on the, the settings of the user profile. So here, settings. You can change your password, you can change the email on your account, and down here, you can change the individual settings of your notifications. And down here is the privacy setting, allow other users to see when I'm online. Basically, if you turn this off, you will not have this green dot next to you that you usually have when you are online. Last but not least, I would like to talk about the notifications and the Discord widget. So for the notifications here, it just shows you posts on threads you're following. Also, it shows if people react to your posts or if they mention you or if they reply to your posts. Finally, we have the Discord widget here, which basically shows you uh, basically just a preview of the Discord. Uh, the link to the PowerPoint OS Hub Discord will be in the description as well, along with the link to the forum. Basically, this is where we go to just hang out and stuff. Uh, I know some people don't like just being on a forum. I know some people do just like a forum, and I know some people just like a Discord. So either way, you can chat on the Discord as well as on the forums. Okay, so... I think that covers it. Um, I would like to also thank Project PowerPoint for um, being the mod on this forum as well as the main YouTuber on this forum. So I'd like to thank him for supporting this forum. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.